tonight. Question one, the stadium sales tax vote in Jackson County losing big tonight and by a surprising margin. A yes vote would have meant the Royals would build a new ballpark in the crossroads. The Chiefs would expand and renovate Arrowhead. Let's go to the yes rally right now and Chiefs President Mark Donovan making a statement. Let's go to KMBC 9's Jackson Kurtz instead. Jackson. Well, the celebration is in full effect here. I'm here with the owner of Charteroos Saloon, Jill Cox. And Jill, how do you feel right now? Celebration mode in for folks. You know, um, we, we came into this pretty confident. Uh, we, we were confident that we had done a good enough job against a $3 million ad campaign to get the truth out and to get uh, our community to understand that we needed more time and that this uh, agreement was not being negotiated in good faith. And we're excited that the community spoke up and said exactly that. So the Royals can now go back to the drawing board. You know, they can come back to the community with a plan in a different location that doesn't devastate a neighborhood and where they can actually uh, um, bring a plan that does offer community betterment and not community destruction. Um, so we look forward to, uh, to that going forward, um, but tomorrow's a, a, a good day for us. You know, we can we can reset this conversation and start over and uh, and start in a better place in, in better faith. Leading up to tonight, did you have the same sense that this was going to be the outcome? Yes, I mean, of course, you know, you don't, you don't want to jinx yourself, but you know, we just, everybody we talked to, you know, it, we were just more upset and more worried that the, the amount of false information that was being disseminated from the other side was powerful. You know, they were playing with people's emotions. They were weaponizing people's emotions against them. them. And that's not a way to run a campaign. And we think that the voters saw through that and that they stood up for themselves. Um, and, and like I said, we, uh, we, uh, we, we, we held out. And this is, what, this is what community looks like, by the way. Um, to, the, to those who think the community is investing in buildings, it's investing in people. And these are people. This is community. Going forward, you kind of mentioned this. What do you want the look like, the crossroads to look like? Do you want the Royals to continue to try to be down here somewhere, or do you want them to be somewhere else possibly? Well, um, personally, I want them to be anywhere where they pay for it themselves because they're billionaires. Um, if they must, if they must move, which I don't believe they need to, they need to pick a neighborhood that doesn't involve disruption. There's a lot of, of places available: the East Village, uh, the 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 Legends, the uh, um, Kemper Arena area. There's a lot of land around this city that they can pick, and they, they need to uh, start looking on their own turf and how to build their own empire. It's stay, it's here clear of ours. What do you think this says about folks in Kansas City in Jackson County? Well, I warned Sarah Torville that she picked a fight with the wrong neighborhood. And now I get to say I told you so. I've been in and around this neighborhood 30 years. The people that built this neighborhood before me are some of Kansas City's most tenacious, creative, passionate people. And they are not the type of people that would just roll over and move out. So there you go. This is Kansas City. Thank you so much. Cheers. Thank you. All right, well, we're going to continue to talk to folks here tonight. Little Frank White was in the corner, so we're going to try to talk to him and see what he has to say about this vote tonight. Back to you guys.